kick the British's ass day. That's pretty much what I think about when I think about the American Independence holiday. Essentially, you know, whatever you want to call the 4th of July, Independence Day, whatever, is essentially the day that Americans, well, became declared their independence from Great Britain. But it's interesting to note that the that the Declaration of Independence was only created during June and July of 1776, roughly one year after the American Revolution actually took place. And the whole idea behind it was the fact that, you know, the British were, you know, an imperialist power was abusing the rights of the American citizens, right? Well, not really. It was more of a whole issue over the rights of more of the the rich elite and everybody else that was in the colonies basically be, you know being having their land rights and other issues basically infringed on by the British crown you know the typical capitalist bullshit and so essentially it was more of a fight for land ownership pri you know private land ownership and everything else and being able not, you know, to not be taxed up the ass like rich people should. But the whole issue behind it has been the whole idea that, you know, Americans fought for it because they wanted self-government. And there is a level of truth to that. Americans also did want their self-government. The only difference is that the people that could vote at that time were rich, white males, landowner males too. So basically if you did not own land, if you did not, you know, have a certain amount of wealth and you were not male and you were not white, you could not vote. Women could not vote. African Americans could not vote because they were, most African Americans were slaves or indentured servants at the time at, the, at a lesser extent. And so, yeah, nobody other than, you know, white landowners, male white landowners ever had the chance to vote early on in those days. But all that aside, it was, it was definitely a thing for self-government and obviously the independence from an imperialist power so that it could create its own imperialist power. And essentially what we celebrate is not really so much it is we celebrate a nation's independence we celebrate you know the right of breaking free from the british empire but we also indirectly and unilaterally are supporting the fact that we kicked out one empire to begin forming another and that's what we really should understand here another thing that we should also really understand is the true history behind it now we also went, we fought against the British for a lot of main reasons. You know, there was the, you know, the fact that they were issuing all these taxes, like, you know, on tea, on stamps, on sugar, on anything, basically, that they could tax, you know, the people on. Kind of reminds me of a lot going on today. Um, but it, it's one of those things where the, the, there wasn't really any necessary push to put a declaration of independence through because at the time many thought that any that trying to declare independence from an empire while you're still technically under the rule of that empire but still fighting for your freedom some thought that is pretty much putting their name signing their name away to be used against them in a you know in a British uh, judicial system had they end up losing and, you know, been brought up as traitors. It basically would have, that document would have pretty much been, you know, would have been the final nail in the coffin for them. But I always look at it this way. The only difference between generals and terrorists or between heroes and terrorists are essentially you know, is just simply a difference between winners and losers. Now, had George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, 
Nino, all these men actually been uh, had they the revolution had been lost, they would have been considered terrorists and traitors in today's modern world. Now, <laughs> it's but not, but you know it's all a matter of perspective. Today we see them as heroes as you know general you know uh, George Washington as a general we see these men as heroes we see, call them the founder the founding fathers the me, the fathers of our country and again that's all a matter of perspective to the british they have a completely different understanding of that now yes be, due to normalized anglo-american relations these days the british are a little bit more understanding and obviously don't want to piss the Americans off because they need military support and money but it's one of those things where essentially they do they don't it's not like they are they're celebrating American Independence Day it's not like they take you know inspiration or well that's not true it's not like they basically put these men up there on a pedestal because that you know those men to them betrayed their country so it's one of the it's just all a matter of perspective but this is Americans Independence Day but what's interesting to also note is the fact that while it was created in 1776 it also did not get ratified until July 4th of 1776 but the, the document itself did not hold legitimacy until all men had actually signed it, which was on August 2nd of, of, of 1776. So technically we're only celebrating the day that the, the Declaration of Independence was actually ratified, it not when it was actually signed and had gained legal force. So, and if we even want to go further with it, it's not like we actually gained our independence and gained legal force of it until about 1783. So, all that said, it was one of those things where it's kind of didn't, you know, you can debate when our actual independence was. But most Americans see our independence as being 1776 on July 4th. And that's what we celebrate now as a person who sports California and has a strong Californian pride I have a lot of mixed sentiments as I stated in the Confederate flag conundrum video I am while I pride myself on being Californian I you know I'm also so you know I'm also a Marxist and everything else and I talk a lot of shit about the United States the US flag everything else that being said, though, while I hold great honor and pride in my Californian heritage and my Californian roots, I cannot be so bold and egotistical to basically say that I am not an American because I am born of the United States. Whether I like it or not, whether I, you know, whether you know whether it's relevant or not, anything else, you know, is I can't deny that I was born in. Well, Napa Valley, California, United States. I mean, it basically is legal tender that I am an, in it, that I am an American. There's no denying that. There's no getting rid of it. Nor would I necessarily want to. I mean, it's not one of those things where it's not that I hate America. I actually do like America. I am an American, and I do want what's best for America under my own personal views. I do want to better America. I want to see America have a lot more, you know, radical new ideas and changes come to it. But um, it does not mean that I hate America. You know, frankly, my viewpoint is is that I want to change, help to change the American political system, the political landscape, as well as the fact that I do want Californian independence. It's more of a this whole thing where it's like change the regime you can change until you can achieve change yourself, which essentially means that until California pretty much becomes, you know, were to become an independent country, I would have, you know, I have to abide and 
pretty much accept the fact that I am under the regime of the United States. Therefore, I, you know, while I'm, uh, while I'm here, while I am still technically an American citizen, still technically part of the American nation, I am going to fight for changes and I'm going to, you know, obviously give my personal viewpoints and stuff like that and essentially fight for my own ideology within the American legal system, the American political system, everything else. So with that said, I'm going to at least cha try to put some sort of change, try to, you know, do all this while I'm still under that, and still, at least until I'm still, for the time that I'm under the, the Stars and Stripes banner. Once one day, if ever, that I become, that my beloved bear flag becomes a actual recognized nation, then I will, you know, begin to try to help build, build that. Until then, I'm pretty much, you know, here to talk about the, I, I'm here to talk about the independence of America, I'm here to talk as an American, basically. There's no denying that. There's no denying at all that I am an American. Just plain and simple. Yes, there's a lot of faults that I have with the American system. But I'm still, I'm not going to say a proud American, but I am an American. I do want what's best for this country. And I'm going to keep fighting for different, for, you know, what I think is right for this country. So, that just is a plain given. But, it is also to note, before ending this video, that while we celebrate American Independence Day, let us not forget that the fact we did steal land from the Native Americans, we did pretty, you know, commit a lot of genocide, we've commit, you know, committed, you know, we've mass incarcerated a whole bunch of people due to their, you know, race and everything else during wartime. We have the largest incarceration rate in prisons, which are also owned by corporations, that, you know, we have the largest incarceration rate in the entire world. And we commit war crimes and genocide and everything else in other countries, primarily third world countries, for resource for resources for our own profit of the capitalist empire that this is. But at the same time, it is our independence day. So for once put let's just you know, let us remember it, but let at least let us at least put aside our ideological differences. Let us put away that spite and everything else to remember one thing. We kicked a bunch of redcoats ass 200 and some odd years ago. And with that, happy Independence Day. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. Tipping my hat to the stars and stripes that will fly, the fireworks that will boom tonight, and the millions of Americans that are gorging themselves on wieners in a frothy liquid.